Welcome back! Day 6 is off to an auspicious start with a barely alive chicken on the floor of our shop. And now somebody dropped uh, something through our mail slot. Might have been the mailman? I don't know. Looks like an envelope though. Special delivery, it seems. Let's hope it won't explode or anything. It's just an envelope. I can see that. Let's see, who could it be from? Gabriel eyes the surreptitiously delivered envelope. There doesn't seem to be anything unusual about it. Let's see. The envelope is unmarked. But what's in it? That's the real question. Gabriel opens the envelope and finds a note from Mosley and a small brass key. From Mosley? Let's read it. Mosley's note says, Gabe, I have to go underground with this thing. It runs wide and deep throughout the department and the city board. I'm already being watched. It was suggested I take vacation time, so I am. At least as far as they know. Try to keep out of this. It's too hot for a rookie. Just in case, I'm sending you my office key. You might find some useful things there. P.S. I think this note will look great in the book, don't you? Make sure you save it. The note is signed. Detective Mosley. Great. Seems like he has his priorities straight. The key is from Mosley. You can get into his office if need be. We also got the book on Rada drums that Grace uh, ordered. Let's see if there's anything interesting in there. Codes, it seems. The book contains several pages of Rada drum code. There are several pages. How can we see the rest of them? I don't think we can. At least not here. Um, let's not forget to read the newspaper. Times Picayune, dated the 23rd of June, 1993. Gabriel finds an article about St. Jean's Eve. It discusses the day's Catholic roots and its adoption by voodoo devotees. In the early to mid-1800s, St. Jean's Eve was celebrated with elaborate voodoo gatherings at Lake Pontchartrain, Bayou St. Jean, and other sites outside the city. These days, the day is commemorated commercially in some of the local shops, and a few churches still hold a St. Jean's Eve Mass. Despite his better judgment, Gabriel reads his horoscope. Today you will either die or your life will change forever. Sure, why not? It is St. John's Eve. They'll be out tonight for sure. But where? Yes, that is the question. I have a feeling finding out might not be so easy. How could we approach that? Well, we know they're using the drummers to send messages. And we have a way to decode that. And we also know they use the um, wall of Marie Laveau's tomb to send messages sometimes. And the last time they had a conclave, it was mentioned on there. So maybe we should try uh, see if there's something Are else you going to be okay here by yourself? I'll, I'll, I'll be just, just fine. Just fix this, okay? I'm trying, Gracie. So let's uh, take a look at the cemetery. Maybe there's an 
a new message there. And if so, hopefully it'll tell us about the uh, location of the uh, conclave. The second message made from the voodoo crosses is on the wall. Yes, there is a new message. Let's see if we can find out what it says. First of all, let's copy it. Let me get these new marks down. And um, now we can try and cross-reference that with the original one. Um, let's see which is which. It's Gabriel's sketch of the new series of crosses from the Laveau tomb wall. And we don't have to do that manually. We can simply use them on each other. Gabriel checks the two messages for duplicate symbols and transfers the letters from the matches to the new message. He finds that he has the translation for all of the symbols, except for three. Hmm, well, let's hope we can uh, figure those out from context. Let's see what it says. DJ, keep E, question mark, E, S, on, GK, B, question mark, T, do not har, question mark. I'm going to say DJ, keep eyes on GK, but do not harm. So the missing letters are a Y, a U, and an M. GK, that's us, Gabriel Knight. And DJ, could that be Dr. John? In which case, he wasn't doing a very good job at not harming us with the whole snake business. Unfortunately, it does not mention any conclave tonight, or where it might be. It just means that uh, they're watching us, which we kind of already knew. I guess this uh, wall is a personal uh, means of sending messages to uh, Dr. John then, considering both messages we've seen here were addressed to him. I don't know, I think email is more convenient. But we have another way that they used to communicate, which is the drums. Let's see if we can learn anything from that. Now we have to wait until he walks away. Come on. So, um, let's find the drummer, like on Jackson Square. Um, and while we're here, we might also check if there's anything else new here. But first, let's deal with the drummer. It's one of the Rada drummers. They transmit coded messages through the French Quarter for the Voodoo Cartel. Let's see if we can figure out what he's saying. And this is kind of hard to do, but... Uh, well, uh, wait, that's not it. That's the journal. That's it. Let's see if I can... Gabriel uh, listens carefully to the drums and opens his Rada book to translate. So, we get to see these codes, or these uh, symbols, that match the ones in the code. And you can um, kind of see how the symbols work. The horizontal line indicates if it's a low, middle, or high note. And the vertical line indicates how many notes there are. See, that's three high notes, one middle note, two high notes, etc. Now, not all of the notes they're playing are part of the um, message. So, um, some of them are junk, so we'll just have to look for parts of the message in um, 
all of this mess. And here we can see that there are a number of uh, pages with things they can be talking about. Well, let's see if we can recognize anything here. Um, of course it helps that I already know what they're supposed to be saying, so I know what to look for. In fact, I think I've already spotted one. There. Three high notes, three mill notes, one low note, one low note, one low note, three high notes. Coal Conclave is what that says. Let's see, is there anything from this page here? This seems to be all about timing. Let's take a look. Yes, there we go. Three low notes, one low note, one low note, three low notes. Tonight. So all we need to know now is where. Let's see, can we find that out? Yes, we can. Three middle notes, three low notes, two low notes, two low notes, and three middle notes is swamp. Hmm. If Gabriel's translation of the drum code is correct, there'll be a conclave tonight in the swamp. That must be the bayou. This really is much harder to do than it looks um, the first time around because of the amount of noise there is and because of the relatively large number of things they could be saying. And of course you don't know first time around that they're going to say one thing from each page. And of course the message disappears when it wraps around. I was helped by the fact that um, I knew what they were saying, but we did find out what we wanted, where this conclave is going to be, in the swamp, in the bayou, apparently. So maybe we can uh, go there and catch them in the act. Not sure if that's a good idea for our health, but it seems that if we want to clear this thing up, we'll have to try. Hmm, Madame Lorelei is missing. And the beignet guy is still here. So, nothing uh, else of interest here. Let's see. The swamp has now been added to um, the map. So we can go there. But swamps are big. How can we find out where this conclave is being held? Well, we'll have to find out in the next video.